And of course, some more news breaks when I stop recording. As you see, I'm chilling on my laptop, man. But we got some news. So, breaking news. Effective immediate Washington will call itself the Washington football team pending adoption or a new name. So, or of a new name. So, man, that's really, we got, I, mean, I guess we got what we got. You know what I'm saying? Comments going cool. Hey, man. <laughs> y'all, y'all need to calm down, man. We're getting a new name. They're, but they just have to, you know, like they said, they got to get everything as far as the trademarking and stuff. You know, they got to get everything done. So I think we're just going to call it the Washington football team until now. I'm fine with that. Okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> but I'm going to put this at the beginning of the video. Um, and I'm going to let you guys enjoy the, the video that I had planned because this isn't what I had planned. But, I mean, I'm okay with it, you know, I guess. I'm not really affected by it, you know what I'm saying? We're still getting a new name, I think. So, I mean... I'm not really affected by it in a way. I mean, unless our names are going to be called the Washington football team. Okay, I'm a Washington fan. I'm a D.C. fan. I'm cool with that. You know what I'm saying? Cool. <laughs> Enjoy the video. I'm going to put this at the beginning. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hail to the Redskins or help to the Washington football team per Adam Schefter. And, uh, yeah, this this I'll make a full video about this tomorrow. Peace. So I know I said I was going to let you guys just enjoy the video, but we have some more, you know, somewhat news about the new name. So we're going to be called the Washington football team temporarily in 2020, obviously. You already know that. But I know a lot of people are probably saying, but what are they going to do about the logos and stuff like that? So we're going to do something like the Alabama feel, you know what I'm saying? Instead of having a logo, we're going to do the numbers on the side of a helmet in a gold print, which isn't that bad. So, like, even if we did have a new name, I would probably prefer this over a logo anyway. That's kind of cool, you know what I'm saying? We'd be, we're called the Washington Crimson Tide, too, sometimes, like my boy at Oliver like to say. So why not do that? I mean, I'm cool with it. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion, I know a lot of people are going to beg to differ. And we also have a jersey design. It's it's fire to me. Look at this. That's fire in my opinion with the seven on the side. Oh, my Lord. I like him. You know what I'm saying? And you, you can still call them the Redskins whatever you want to. But I, I'm cool with the Washington football team, the D.C. sports team, whatever you want to call us. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to let you guys enjoy the rest of this video. This wasn't the video I had planned, actually. It was another video, but this just happened after I upload, after I was uploading the video. So, enjoy the video. Hopefully, no more news comes out. <laughs> YouTube, what's going on? It's Wong Gotti here with another video. And in today's video, we have some more Redskins or Washington football news. But before we get into today's video, I do have a few notes I want to say. Is that tonight, I will be going live for the Nats versus Yankees game. Cannot wait. Baseball is finally back, man. Opening day. Max Scherzer versus Garrett Cole. Can't wait to see Juan Soto hit a bomb off Garrett Cole in the top of the third. Can't wait to see Howie Kendricks. Howie Kendricks is really going to, you know, splurge now that he's the DH. He wasn't an everyday player last year, but now that he's the DH, man, and he only has to worry about hitting bombs... Yeah, man, he's really going to be crazy this year. And we already know the three-headed monster, man. Patrick Corbin, Max Scherzer, and also Steven Strasburg, who just got paid. And I like to say four, because Annabelle Sanchez could turn it on at any moment. So hopefully we're getting the Annabelle Sanchez that we did get in the playoffs last year. That would be great. And the second thing that I want to talk about here was shout-out to Adam Silver and the basketball, man. They really did a great job with the bubble setup, man. Considering the fact, I know a lot of people were saying, well, it, it was boring. It was no fans, obviously. But you still got to take into consideration. You got to look on the bright side. Look at look at what they did with the circumstances they were put in. So shout out to the Wizards. Shout out to the NBA, man. I really was going to make a Wizards versus Nuggets recap yesterday because Bo Bo, man, he's going to be something special, honestly. But uh, I was going to make a recap, but I had already uploaded that day. And yesterday, it was just crazy outside. It was like flooding and stuff like that with thundering and stuff like that so i just was like nah i'm gonna wait till the actual season start on july 31st when we play the suns and one thing i do want to say 
they really do look good. The Wizards are really looking good, considering the fact that they don't have Brad Bill, they don't have John Wall, they don't have Dobbins Berton. They really play well. I know we didn't win the game, but they kept it close. At one point, they up, were up, I think, at uh, what? Four, I think it was at one point. So shout out to the Wizards, man. We really do might have a chance. Oh, I know it's slim, but we still do have a chance. If Troy Brown Jr. could turn up, Adam or Schofield, hey, Rui's going to have to put us on his back. Rui had 18 points yesterday. He really looks good and looks refreshed. You know, he was he, he was able to heal during this time in a way. He also said that he did get stronger in this way um, during the quarantine. So with that being said, man, shout out to the Wizards and the NBA and also baseball, man. We got sports back guys something that's finally going to take our mind off of this whole pandemic so with that being said i know i've been rambling for a long time let's get straight into today's video so today we're going to be talking about pro football focus they finally 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 put some respect on the washington redskins or the washington football club i'm so happy i'm so happy and you might say what are we talking about here well, Pro Football Focus, if you don't know, a couple months ago, they ranked the Washington Redskins or the Washington Football Club the lowest or 32 out of 32 at the wide receiving corner. I know a lot of people were like, wait, what? Because we know we're not 32, but to them, we're 32. And you can't be mad at that. Only reason why I say that is because we had, you know, a lot of rookies. So, although we know that we're not bad and we're not worth 32, it's a lot of other teams with bad, you know, uh, wide receiving cores out there, they thought we were 32. So, they finally put some respect on our name. Yesterday, Pro Football Focus put out D-line rankings, and the Washington Redskins were ranked third best in the whole entire league. So, just shout out to Pro Football Focus, finally putting some respect on our league. And there was a lot of people that were salty in the comment section. You got 49ers fans saying Washington over San Francisco. So, we're going to take a deep dive into the two teams that Washington was under. So, they ranked the Pittsburgh Steelers as the number one um, defensive line in the NFL. And I can't really complain with that. Um, they really are the number. They really have a great defense. And I know it was slept on considering the fact that their offense didn't match up to par, but they really do have a great defensive line. And they have a great defense as a whole. You know what I'm saying? So they traded for Mick Hafiz Patrick, and that he really helped that secondary out. But defensive line-wise, Casey Hayward still running strong. Them guys, they're really good, man. They're really good. I can't really complain with that. If they offense can match up to par and they have Big Ben back now, healthy, they really could be scared, something scary in the AFC, and more specifically the AFC North. They could really get the Ravens to run for their money, honestly. They almost made the playoffs last year with Devlin Hodges and also Mason Rudolph switching out. So, shout out to the Steelers. Number two, they have the Philadelphia Eagles, which, I mean, I guess some people may say is, you know, up in the air. But, I mean, I guess you got to give them the the number two only because they have more experience on our D-line, on their D-line than us. They got Fletcher Cox still running strong and stuff like that. So, I guess you got to give them the edge. Me, um, eh, talent-wise, I think we're better. But more experience and more proven already, I think the Eagles have us. So, I mean, I guess I can't really complain. And then number three, they have the Washington football team ranked number three. And then they also, number four, have the 49ers and number five, the Packers. I kind of would put, hmm... Nah, I was gonna say I would put the Packers over that over that D over the 49ers, but I now that I think about it nah. But Preston Smith and Darius Smith are really great, man. So the, they finally put some respect on our names. They finally ranked us something good, and I'm really happy, man. They were finally get recognition, and I cannot wait to see that D line play, man. Um, training camp started yesterday. The rookies reported yesterday, and today they actually came into the building. We seen pictures of Ron Rivera and Chase Young talking. We seen pictures of Ron Rivera and Dwayne Haskins, and I'm really excited to see this defense, man. Um, Chase Young, Montez, where we're loaded. Matt Ioannidis, Deron Payne, John Allen, who's really going to ball out this year. I think he's probably might lead the league or me lead the team in sacks, honestly, because he wants to get paid, and we really he, he deserves the money. He really do. Deron Payne, our best run stuff on this team. And people forgetting about Matt Ioannidis and Tim Settler that's on the bench. And that's what a lot of people that were saying. Washington over 49ers, how dumb. So that's what they don't know. They're not, they don't know about the Redskins or the Washington Football Club how we do. We know we have a nasty rotation of guys on this D-line. And now I'm pretty sure that's why our football focus rated us so hot. And I cannot wait to see what we do this year. But once again, shout out to Pro Football 
overall focus for actually showing us some respect and showing us that we that showing the NFL that we're coming. We're coming, man. Once again, Chase Young is going to have a great year. Montez Sweat is, is formed into that top pick that he was going to be. We did rank him in 26. Well, we did grab him at 26 after trading our second round pick to the Colts. But he was supposed to be, you know, going earlier. I think he was draft, supposed to be drafted if it wasn't for the heart condition. I think he was supposed to be drafted in, um, higher than Cleveland Furl. You know, he went to the Raiders. I think uh, the Clemson guy, you know who I'm talking about, Cleveland Furl. He was supposed to go higher than them, but a lot of teams skipped on him due to the heart condition. But I mean, but the guy ran a 4-4 as a defensive lineman. That is really crazy. So, with, I think it was a 4-4. It was either a 4-4 or 4-6. I think it was a 4-4-1. So, with that being said, the second topic that I want to talk about here is that our rookies finally signed their deals. Yesterday, we seen Antonio Gibson, Sadiq Charles was the first one to sign his deal. And so, you know, they had to get the left tackles, uh, you know, they had to grab them up because that's who's going to be protecting Dwayne Haskins' blind side. So, they really had to take care of Sadiq first, honestly. So, Sadiq was the first one to set it off. And then, after Sadiq Charles, it was, oh, actually, now that I look at it, it was Antonio Gibson. So, right Running back Antonio Gibson and Keith Ismail were the first people to sign their deals. So that's really great. And then Sadiq Charles followed. And then Antonio Gandhi Golden did follow. And then Chase Young, it kind of took a long time. I was going to make a video and telling Redskins fans to relax a little bit because a lot of people were becoming anxious on why he hadn't signed yet and why what was taking so long. But I had to, you know, be like, relax, man, relax. It was going to come, you know, they had to take care of everyone else and they had to save the best for last. You know what I'm saying? If you noticed, um, outside of the undrafted free agents, because I don't think none of them signed, I don't think so, um, but they possibly could have. Outside of the free agents, they kind of went in order in a way uh, outside of, you know, Antonio Gibson, but they signed Keith Ismail first. They went from like the back of the draft to the front in a way. You know what I'm saying? Keith Ismail, and then the then after that, they saved the best for last, which was Chase Young, and obviously he got the most likes on the page. So Redskins have signed Chase Young to a four-year deal worth up to or worth 34.56 million and a 22.697 million signing bonus. The entire draft class has been signed now. Per rap sheet, he will begin all of his sign the signing bonuses up front. And that is really great, man. Woo! Getting your signing bonuses up front before you even touch the field. But you know it's going to be per year, obviously. But, man, oh, my Lord, bro. This dude is, he's loaded with money. He's loaded with money, man. Hey, Chase, you think I could borrow 100 man? It's like, no, you think I could borrow five? Five, five dollars at least, man. You just... You literally just cashed out, and this is your rookie contract, honestly. I know a lot of people might, might be saying, well, that's not a lot, but a rookie, man, whew, I, anything is a lot, honestly. And just imagine if he does pan out, which I know he will, just imagine how much he's going to be asking for after his rookie deal. You know what I'm saying? So we, we really got to take advantage of having Chase Young and guys like Dwayne Haskins because if they both pan out how we, how we believe they're going to pan out the next four years, Pockets might be getting a little tight, you know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, man, I'm really excited for this season, and I'm so glad training camp started today. 28th is when everyone reports, but Dwayne, the quarterbacks, and everyone came up to the building today, and all the rookies. So, I'm really excited, man. I'm really excited, and I cannot wait for this season to start. I know a lot of people were saying option A because uh, I think it was the Raiders owner, if I'm not mistaken. He came out and said that the Redskins had three options was to play the season normal. Um, option B was to play somewhere between 10 to 12 games, and option C is not play at all. So I hope we go with option A. I know option B might be more realistic, but I really want to play the full season, man. I really want to see just normal football. I know it's going to be normal football regardless how many games we play, but still, you know what I'm saying? So without further ado, it's me and boy Juan Gotti. Like, comment, subscribe, hail to the Redskins, hail to the Wizards, and don't forget, I will be going live for the Nats versus Yankees tonight, Gary Cole versus Max Scherzer. So even if you're not a Nats fan and you just want to come in here and support me, we can talk about Chase, we can talk about football, we can talk basketball, hockey, whatever, man. Just make sure you guys come through. We can talk about life, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you guys come through and show some support. Once again, at 7 p.m., I will be going live, opening day. As always, me and boy Juan Gotti, like, comment, subscribe, hail to the Redskins. Skins. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, man. We're on the road to 2K. Can't wait to get there. Peace.